Okay, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> in this video about this um, Apprentice S 15E ready to fly airplane, time to put the main gear on. Now, the main gear is kind of simple, but there's a couple things I want to explain. Okay, first thing, you want to make sure that this is nice and straight, that these are spinning freely, and that you take a good screwdriver and you tighten the set screw here so it doesn't come off. Worst thing in the world is you're flying along and uh, um, one of these set screws comes off and you lose a wheel, you lose a set screw more than anything, and the collar. And I also notice um, that this has lots of play. That's okay. Uh, there's, there's an advantage to having a little bit of extra play here in that this is a relatively small wheel. It's probably, I'll tell you exactly, it is two and a half inches. I use, usually use a three and a half inch wheel when I'm flying on a grass uh, runway. Two and a half is barely minimum. I like three and a half. And um, I'll have to see if a three and a half will fit up here. It looks like it might, uh, or maybe just a three. Um, so, um, I might try three and a half here and three there. After you get the first few flights in and you see how well it works on your, on your field, if this is a hard surface, these are fine. And uh, we have both hard surface and a grass field where I fly most of the time. And, um, but on my other fields are just grass and I like bigger wheels. So we'll talk about that later. <coughs> the other thing that I want to make sure you note here is that um, this is where the landing gear goes and there's uh, four holes here for screws. Well, what's that for? Well, this is the same place where if you use floats, the floats go in there. So as long as this is straight and these are spinning freely and they're on nice and tight, then you just sort of, let me turn this a little bit more so you can see it. <clears throat> So you just um, push it down, put it together well, and let it go. That's all there is to it. Okay. So now you can turn the airplane upside down and set it on the ground or whatever. However, I like this stand because even with the gear there, um, I can use the stand to hold the airplane right side up or upside down. That's why I like this stand. Okay, it's also nice when I, because I, I, I use the same stand to go to the field, I put this in the back of my car, you set the airplane on it, and it won't roll around anywhere. Okay, okay so gear in place, uh, thank you for watching, stay tuned for the next video.